Hello, folks. Welcome, welcome again to the Future Venom Commentary. It's been a long time. Say, man, it's been a while. Tell him, Nudie. Yeah, you know. it's been a while. <laughs> I, I was waiting for it, man. <laughs> but yeah, we're back. Uh, hopefully, on like a twice a month basis. That's that's what I'm shooting for. Um, Nudie's here. How you doing, sir? Hello. It's been a while, and I'm glad to be back. Cool. Oh, who else is here? Cameron Scott is here. How you doing, sir? You know, all things considered, doing pretty good. I'm happy to, you know, be here. I'm glad that you're bringing Two Drink Minimum back. I'm glad you're living with us, man, because uh, you've been having some, some some issues, I know, but they only make you podcast more, see? I think there's opportunities. <laughs> yeah, I got a backlog of episodes, man, so now, since I only got one arm this useful, I can edit, edit, edit like crazy. Man. It's a uh, that's something. It's his strong hand. <laughs> it's a strong hand, yeah. Hey, give me a strong hand. Take my strong hand. Yes. That's all I think about. Mashed potatoes and and uh, yeah. <laughs> my gosh. And also with us for the Blood Bass and Boomsticks podcast, Mr. Kyle Poling. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. I, I I like doing this podcast, and I'm glad I'm here tonight. We're not doing we're not doing spookies though, bro. We, we should do Hey that man, one. you know what? We kind of since the gauntlet got thrown down and it actually happened and spookies was released on Blu-ray, we kind of let up on spookies. Now we're all about alligator getting out there on Blu-ray. Oh, yeah, that'd be perfect. Oh, that makes you sad alligator about too. A nice it's double feature from Screen Factory. Sure. It's- Oh, she said about the, the, the spookies, uh, spookies angle. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead camera. I'm sorry. I was just going to say, neither one of those are on Blu-ray. Alligator 1 or 2, are they? No. Nope. No. Nope. Fucking sacrilege. Oh, my gosh. Forrester, man. There's a $20, Blu- uh, $20 DVD on Amazon, but it looks like it's a foreign DVD. Probably a VHS copy on a DVD. It's the VH. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Probably still bad at print Dan. That's that's Kyle's run, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good alligator from Dan. Give, give, give him some business, man. Uh-huh. Give, him a t- give him a t-shirt, Joe. <coughs> All right, who's who's smoking? I'm playing. Uh, tonight we're here <laughs> on this Saturday night because we got nothing better to do to uh, watch the Boogans with y'all. That, that 1981 creature feature. Um, we got lined up at the the black screen before the Paramount logo pops up. So if you have the movie. You want to watch along with us? Listen for the countdown. When I say go, you go. So three, two, one, and go. This is a Friday the 13th movie. <laughs> <laughs> See, Willis is here, but he's here in spirits. So I sure. love that man. Uh, <laughs> pew, pew, crazy pew, pew, wild man Willis. Stars. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> <laughs> this shit boring. Yeah, Willis has been too negative lately, so I had to leave him off this one, man, because he hates everything lately, Ex- except Willy's Wonderland. He loves that movie. Really? Yeah. I thought that movie was fucking bullshit. See, I liked it, too, so I can't can't bug him on that one. I enjoyed it for what it was. And I liked the uh, Banana Splits one, too. Oh, that one was better. Banana Splits was awesome. Yeah, it was. You know what they had in Banana Splits that they didn't have in Willy's Wonderland? Dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> that was yeah. I hear choice. that movie's totally like no dialogue whatsoever, right? Well, not from, the, not from the cage anyway. Yeah, not from Nicolas Cage, which makes it kind of odd. But I enjoyed it. Oh, that was all right. We just did it on an yeah. FW. It'll be coming on in a few weeks. Wait a minute. Are we watching My Bloody Valentine? No. <laughs> no I, 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 I hope so. You know. <laughs> I'm pretty time. notorious on my podcast for, I get a lot of guff for uh, not liking this movie. And I'm going to stick with that. I, I really, this is one that pe- like Gary said before we did this, like this is a pretty highly regarded creature feature. I disagree. I think I, I might change my mind. I'm not a fan of this movie. And I don't know if it's a creature feature because in order to be a creature feature, you'd have to be able to see the creatures, and you don't <laughs> see shit in this movie. Well, this is from a Blu-ray though, so you actually see the creatures yeah, a little bit more. Yeah, I know. I- I've heard this is a really, really good Blu-ray though. So maybe you know if I could see them creatures, 
It's just like that movie Humongous. If I could see what was going on in that movie Humongous, I would love it, but I can't. I That's a favorite of Nudie, yeah. I love it. I don't Always remember. Did. I got the poster on my wall. I have the poster. It's just not I hung up. I, I, I got to go back to one of these uh, these headlines. It's richest vein in history. <laughs> I know. <laughs> dick, dick vein. <laughs> <laughs> the main vein. Yeah, I haven't seen this movie in, God, probably 30 years. I was probably 13, 14 last time I seen this. And I don't remember shit this, about it. So this ought to be interesting. This is, this is like 80, 81, isn't it? Yeah. I feel like I'm watching the, the old documentary, Harlan County War. They're all about to get the black lung all at once. <laughs> I love that fucking <laughs> documentary. <laughs> that goddamn sheriff's going to roll up with his gun. Have you watched uh, Humongous on the Blu-ray release? Is it better? Yeah, I mean, you can see the creature a lot I better mean, than in this the past incarnations. This looks beautiful. Cool. It's, not this as looks good, it's not as good as this, but... I think it's the best it's ever going to be because it was yeah. filmed so dark. But I mean, you can you can make out his face in a lot of the scenes now. I've been trying to like I've been I've been uh, debating on whether to buy that and Alien versus Predator two because that also is a movie nobody's ever seen because you can't see it. Yeah, I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if that one can be helped though. I'll tell you one thing: these Harlan County Alien movies. versus Predator. I'm sorry. Fucking Bob uh, Denver just showed up in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Denver and Paul Simon. It does look good. It's a nice print. Yeah, you, you can't see shit in that Alien vs. Predator Re- Requiem yeah. film or how it is. Yeah. Me and Julio down oh. by the silver mine. <laughs> do, 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 do. I'll tell you what, these, these, these Harlan County boogans don't want them to do. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking unionize the thing right now, man. If anybody has never seen Harlan County War, do yourself a favor and go watch it. It's amazing. As a union man, I love that movie. And as a just fan of hillbillies in the in the woods, it, it gets no better. I, I, I can't I can't laugh at it because people actually die in those mines. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it's terrible. But you know what? We don't oh, want. Oh no, those. it's a. I'm not saying it's a fun. It is just a great documentary. We, we, we don't want no union boogans is all I'm saying. <laughs> boogans is going to unionize and fucking kick this goddamn mining company out of this place. <laughs> After Bob and Doug McKenzie get killed. Like, man, you sure got a pretty mouth. <laughs> that is. That's shitty North American Bob and Doug McKenzie. <laughs> <laughs> Take off, eh? Take off into the mine, eh? Back up, loser. <laughs> oh, dick joke. I found one fact about this film that makes Kyle's statement true. They only use one creature throughout the entire film. So I will say this. I will say <laughs> one. This movie, and check it out, watch it throughout, has the best dog acting I have ever seen out of a dog. They should have gave the Academy Award to this fucking dog in this movie. It's amazing. Better, better than Gordon in part four? Yeah, yeah Gordon committed suicide. <laughs> this dog outacts everybody in this movie. It's so good. I just keep expecting Harry Warden to pop up with the pickaxe. <laughs> oh, there's there's not that many Canadians in this film. Come on now, you know. So what's worse, this <laughs> one for one creature or uh, elves? Oh, fuck Dan Haggerty. <laughs> 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 they literally have one, one elf in it and they call it elves. <laughs> well... It wasn't really an elf. It was more like a, um, what's it called? A, a bootleg Manitou, I'll call it all day long, you know. Oh, man. <laughs> Why are we not watching the Manitou? Come on. Manitou. <laughs> oh, one day. Laser Manitou. space battles in a fucking hospital that's frozen for some reason. Tony Randall. Olivia Newton and John theme song. Fuck, God damn. Let's watch the Manitou. Oh, you mixed the Manitou. If, if Olivia and John had a girl on the <laughs> I turned you into an Indian guy for no reason at all. It's, it's, uh, and she was singing about it. I'd watch that movie 40 times in a row. You know, The Manitou needs to be a musical, an onstage musical. No, what Nudie's yeah. saying is the Manitou should merge with Xanadu and, and you know... And, uh, Roller skate around that fucking hospital? Yeah. <laughs> Gene I'm Kelly's for, Yeah, I'm all for, you know, undead... Indian midget medicine man on 
roller skates. See, we're writing that are better also movies. reptiles. We're writing better movies than the Boogans and Elves right now. Yeah. See, fuck this movie. <laughs> <laughs> He just puts it down in the snow. We just did the money penalty here on uh, Cinema Beef, and we figured out right away that Maureen, da- Maureen Stapleton was the devil in that movie. <laughs> That's a movie I haven't seen since I was four years old. Oh, it's wacky. I kind of liked it a lot. That's some prime Hanks, dude. This guy, this guy should be Lane Smith, but he's not. That makes me sad. Yeah, clearly, this is not OSHA approved. <laughs> no. These guys never worked on a union job in their fucking lives. It's like, Stan, let's jog. Sure. Let's move it. <laughs> let's move it to Jason Page. Just walk really, really big steps. Her name is Tris, and she's a dish. She doesn't taste like fish. It, it, it looks awful cold outside, and well, that guy's guy's longer to wear around. He's all good. Yeah. Not the other one, though. Everybody's got some dirty, dirty denim on, except for this guy on the right. I don't think he's been working at all, man. He's a slacker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's oh, your wife. Oh, shit. Listen, it's crazy, Ralph. You know. You're doomed. You're all doomed. <laughs> Fucking James Coburn's looking rough. <laughs> yeah. It's like fucking James Coburn face fuck Jason Robarbs. Damn. Maybe. Smack oh, just gets in of him and dies. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> That guy should die hereditary style like that little girl. Uh-huh. <laughs> also, That's where they that got movie. it from. Thanks for the warning! <clears throat> That's the guy that says, you know, have a nice trip, see you next fall. <laughs> that is a sweet station wagon. They don't Can make them like that to... anymore. Get the set in the way back. The station wagon <laughs> her jawline. <laughs> She's got some Bruce Campbell that's, jawline. That's the shagger <laughs> Well, he wants clothes, bitch. <laughs> she breaks for animals. I guess I, I fit in that category. Goddamn front to, wheel drive. You're going to have to get a crane to get that tub out. What's the way? About three Canadian tons. Whatever that is. Ooh, she's a, she's a handsome woman. <laughs> It weighs 12 Dave Thomases. <laughs> <laughs> That's a measurement, isn't it? Uh, I hope it is. She's better looking walking away. See, she's yes. an independent woman. She just fucking leaves, leaves the car there saying, fuck it, I could take this walk. My house is right here. Or is it? I'm white. I'm white. Let me go in this place. Maybe there's a book inside I could read. In Latin, perhaps. That was my favorite part of uh, the, the Evil Dead remake was the fact that I had written across the top of the book, don't read, don't continue, or all of a sudden, you know? Yeah. It's like, no, it's like, no idiot, don't read this, you know? <laughs> On the last page it says, you read it, you asshole. Like cabin in the woods is like, do not read the fucking Latin, and they read the Latin. Because white people, you know, how it works. Yeah, right. That fridge do to you, lady. Jesus Christ. She had a bad day, man. She crashed her shagging wagon. Yep. 
You could fit a whole mattress in that back end. I'm kind of surprised. Rotary phone. Jesus. There's a thing that I'm, I'm glad that it's never came back. Blush. <laughs> or rouge or whatever the shit that cheek shit is. That shit was not cool. Yeah, it was not a good look. <clears throat> Call a tow truck, bitched. Canadian AAA is unreliable, apparently. Oh, here he comes. Crazy, crazy James Robards. <laughs> Martin Landau. Oh, no, he's not making the fuck faces like Martin Landau. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> that deer does not deserve to eat my shit. Can I use your bathroom? Quick crap. Two seconds. <laughs> he is clenching, isn't he? <laughs> he's, he's trying to stay up. <laughs> it's oh, like man I already thing. broke one hip doing this thing what are you doing to my house whore <laughs> <laughs> damn she's no. not in the shower yet damn bomb jeans god damn girl that butt on a white girl's unfair yeah, nice caboose, I must say. Yeah. There's something at least to look at in this scene. Jesus. No offense to white girls with big butts, you know, and if you're fine with that, I'm fine with that too. Mom jeans have came back, and I hate them. I can thank Mercy Tomei for that one. I hate them so much. Ugg boots also. Nah, I'm a... Uh, I've got this really weird thing about women's fashion. That just someone needs to tell them, Ugg boots bad. Mom jeans not flattering, guys. Is there a boogins down here? I hope so, man. Or maybe that old man to say booga 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 perhaps, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Boogie right. jumps out. Oh, I'm in the wrong movie. <laughs> now that's a movie. He's watching her rubbing one out in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Boogie Boogie Boo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I just caved. It felt kind of good. I don't know what it is. She's going to find an Atari 2800 down here. Man. With the ET cartridge? Either that or Yars Revenge or Crawl. If you change that line from Wayne's World, uh, you know, everybody had a had it, Frampton's Comes Alive. It came with a free sample of Tide, you know. It was a, change it to the E.T. cartridge. Until they dumped them all in the fucking landfill. Did you ever watch that documentary about them going I, I, and digging it up? Yeah, I did. It was so stupid. I was like, okay, this is a thing, you know. I wanted more information about, like, the radioactive pigs that were in that landfill. I mean, they, they literally buried something to say, hey, you know what? This is trash. Let's bury it as such and never forget, forget all about it. But, you know. <clears throat> again, they actually folks, made a documentary about that? Yeah. yeah. The, you know, white folks' mission to go, go find them in, in a landfill to say, hey, look at all these <laughs> E.T. cartridges. They're trash anyway, right? You know? I remember playing that as a little kid, and I'm like, it's not the worst video game ever. Come on. It is, once, you real, once you figure out how it works, it's okay. But people just shit all. I don't know. I've played Cyberpunk 2077. It's not the worst video game of all time. Oh, God. My, con my condolences, sir. I got my money back. I took, I took them up on the refund offer. God, she, is wearing, she is wearing a lot of rouge, ain't she? Goddamn. So that was the first mistake that Keanu Reeves ever made. Yeah. The man is almost perfect. 
I, I love to say that in Johnny Monomic, but that would probably make Kyle angry. You know, hey, uh, you do not disparage <laughs> a movie that has Henry Rollins and Dolph Lundgren in it. Don't forget Ice T. He doesn't count. I'll say Ice T minus the kangaroo dick every, every time. Okay, you know? yeah, he's got to be the kangaroo guy to be in to count. Now the giant no, mnemonic didn't. video game. Now that was some bullshit. That was right. so horrible. I guess she's dead now. But let's let's go back to the kangaroo dick. If you haven't seen Tan Girl, you haven't seen the kangaroo dick. But they actually had Sam and Winston build a kangaroo dick for the scene that never happened. Okay. Hmm. We're we're boogering. Yeah, we're boogering. Tank. We're gonna get down. They're dirty, you know. But uh, it's fucking yeah, shitty lead majors right there. Sorry, it was on that kangaroo dick and didn't use it. What a shame! That's a waste of that's that's a waste of good kangaroo dick. Come on now. <laughs> that guy's pants are not dirty at all. He lives in <clears throat> he lives in coal country. All right, so we got one death and no booging yet. You said he used one creature throughout the entire film. You know, she yeah. screamed though. But she was a, was a Rob, Bo- Rob Bottin creature too, right? And that's a shame you never really get to see it. <clears throat> it has to be like his first thing. Either this or the Howling. Because I think he was a student of um, a student of um, Rick Baker when he made the Howling. Yeah, yeah, the Howling been first. Oh, this fucking guy. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, let's make a deal joke just happened. <laughs> That's how you know you're an 81, see? Oh. My parents got to be on Let's Make a Deal. Nice. My dad was also on Double Dare once. <laughs> <laughs> That's what That's what you get when you go to Universal Studios, Florida. They throw you at a TV show for no reason. You got to fill them seats somehow, right? Yeah. Uh, there's, there's not enough denim in this Canadian picture. Oh, uh-uh. That's why I was so upset when Heather didn't come on the Howling 2 commentary because there, there was so much denim in that picture with, with Red Brown just fully decked out denim warrior in that movie. Best denim in a movie, Sam Elliott, Frogs. Good Lord. Full-on denim outfit, man. I'm trying to think of a movie to put, up with, <laughs> to put with Frogs one day. I don't know what it is going to be, but, you know. How about Worms? Yeah, frogs up against Ticks. Day of the Animals. Ooh, Food of the Gods. That'd be a good one. Oh, yeah. Food of the Gods, too. Oh my god, that we, we did that one on NFW. Pretty fucking epic. That guy's fucking the girl and he's giant sized. Yeah. <laughs> it looks so funny. You listen to shitty Linda Carter here. I know where to fucking go. You're not wrong. <laughs> that dog is amazing. I love that dog. She's kind of cute, though. Uh, played by two dogs, by the way, in this movie. Yeah. They're going to act circles around everybody. One dog's not enough. One dog's not enough, man. They all can't be mushroom from fucking fucking gremlins and shit. Which one's Mary Kate and which one's Ashley Olsen? Did you know <laughs> that Elizabeth Olsen is your sister? Mm, you know? <laughs> Those fucking people, I swear. <laughs> Tiger. Deborah Winger over here. What the fuck? Uh, WandaVision finale. <laughs> no, don't talk about that fucking WandaVision bullshit. Let, 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 let me wanting more of the, the finale. I'm sorry. Yeah. Gary's got to say, it's not that bad. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it, man. <laughs> I got Gary down to a T now. Well, that's good. <laughs> I know Gary's responses. Well, you, you 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 made that show and just named it after my my catchphrase, I guess. You know, yeah. You know. It's not that bad, is it? Or is it? it's not that What's bad. What's that program you do? I I just didn't add. I kind of liked it. Uh-huh. But I kind of liked it, you know. 
<laughs> the end of the other show where you disappeared on us and no, we, did, we did the rating for you. Nice. I was like, this is Gary and I give it three microwave sausages out of ten. <laughs> you eat them, bro, and it's her sausages, brother. Oh, no. you, would eat, you would eat sausage that night, so <laughs> we gave a rating at that. <laughs> You eat the maple brown and serve sausages. You know you love that shit. Yeah. Oh, man. That sounds like some Canadian breakfast. All the Canadian breakfast meats. Yeah. Can- Canadian, can- Canadian bacon, a.k.a. ham. That's all it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's not bacon. That's the dumbest line. Of, is this a natural cavern? <laughs> no, it's a man-made cavern. Dumb shit. <laughs> it's a shit. man-made cavern. Frog's about to jump out. I hope so. Hopefully some human in the deep to, to uh, do some reverse uh, rape for these dudes, yeah? Yeah. Maybe impregnate some dudes. I mean, at least in that movie, they had some crazy monster rape going on. This one, they just got a dog running around. And a skull. Dude, that skull's too clean. Must have got that skull from, from the Unita Medical Facility. You know? <laughs> All skeletons come from India. <clears throat> They're going to run into Donald Pleasance and cannibal like dudes down in the fucking subway. They keep going on. This is made in China. No, those are like reverse chuds. I wasn't a big fan of that movie. Yeah. If you're if you're gonna go with chud, you should go full chud and just not halfway there. <laughs> so, sorry, Deathline. We do not accept half chuds on two drink minimum commentaries. <laughs> full chud or no chud? Or Garrett Graham chud. I'm fine with all three of those things. Yeah. yeah. We got budget Henry Fond over here. What the fuck? <clears throat> Where's George here. Kennedy when you need him? Man, like, he, he, he that, needs to be in this movie. Yeah, that movie, that that dude in this movie would have put it over the top. He's too busy fighting space Bigfoots and Demon Warp to be in this movie. <sighs> or whatever was going on at Demon Warp. I don't know. I think John Carl Beekler just exploded at the end of that movie and they taped it. That was, that was their climax. He was getting ready for Chief Woodenhead. That was all 87. I'm way off. Regular creature was 82. All right. Make more sense. Anne Marie Martin. She was in Prom Night. That's where I know her from. I was going to say, there's somebody from Hell Night in this movie, too. I know it. She was the, the Wendy, I think, in Prom Night. The one that got chased around with the axe. The look that woman gave was the fuck yeah, you want more. Yeah. I knew she looked familiar. As you know, Prom Night. Everything is out of sight, you know, or something she like was, that. She was in Halloween, too, also, uncredited. There you go. That's what I recognize her from. Mm, Darcy, whoever that was. What a, huh. what a goddamn chick jeans going on in this fucking movie. That's kind of odd, though. Pamela, Shoop, Pamela Shoop's titties in that movie, and, you know, good old rapey Leo Rossi. She was in... Uh, Buck Rogers in the 25th century also. That's was... odd, though. What? She was in Prom Night before Halloween 2, and she didn't get credited in Halloween 2. That's kind of odd, no? Yeah, it's strange. She's already established, established yeah. obviously. And Prom Night was a you know, pretty big 80s movie. Mm-hmm. I have her answer, though. She's a filthy Canadian, and she doesn't deserve it, apparently. You know? Didn't the same guy do Humongous that did Prom Night? Yeah. I believe so. Her coat's made out of the same stuff my Lazy Boy's made out of. <laughs> yeah, Paul Lynch. <laughs> Your coat is made out of a chair. 
It's a pretty swanky tub for a cabin. This is a porno start. Cold shower. Cold shower. Yeah, he went from prom night to four episodes of the Dark Room TV series, and then he did Humongous. Anybody ever see that Dark Room? No, I, I, I don't I, know what that I think is. I'm aware of that, isn't no. it? Host, hosted by James Coburn. Oh, fr- back to, give her back no, to Coburn again. A Friday, a Friday night uh, horror horror show, like an anthology. Mm. There were so many of those back then. Yeah, pretty decent show. Here I go my, by myself. It's on my plex, Gary. Nice. Gotta go light the pilot by myself. Hope there's no one down here to do stuff to me. Because I'm so lonely. Yeah, I'm saying Boogans are rapey. Just the one that we have in this movie, apparently. I don't know if Boogans are rapey. I don't know if I can get behind that. Yeah, we haven't seen proof of that. Well, some guys like that. Dude, she's lighting that pilot all wrong. This is why they need a man in the house. She's fucking this shit up real bad. <laughs> it's Gary Busey. Watch out. <laughs> you got you to turn off that gas first, baby. Let the gas clear and turn it back out again. Then you got to hold on the button and, and click, 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 click. And then you light it, idiot. So don't touch the man's hot water. You're the fucking man's thermostat either. Come on now. <laughs> I don't know what that girl's name is. I can't look her up to see if she was in that movie you were talking about. They don't have her on there, so. <clears throat> see, you think the uglier friend would live faster than the prettier friend, but you know. What do you got now? A cowbell or something, lady? <laughs> Needs more cowbell. Oh, it's the dog. Oh, See, the dog outacted everybody. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you, lady. She's threatening to kill the dog now, so she gonna get killed by a boogan. So I'll chase him down with a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> I read on, on the DB that the word the, the phrase the boogans is something that miners would use would be afraid in the mind, you know, like superstitious stuff. Really? Yeah. So it's got nothing to do with the creatures at all, which is kinda, you know, whatever. You're fucking up real bad boogans. It's supposed to be a real <laughs> successful company with the you know, their four employees and all. <laughs> Hey, yeah, maybe get a coat that fits, dude. <laughs> well, it's got to say that just now, yeah. Fat Lee Majors has something to say. It is tiny denim. Four people to open this fucking mind. This is some session nine bullshit right here. I can clear the asbestos out of that hard metal facility in seven days. You listen to Rob Morrow. He can do the job. <laughs> Rob Morrow was talking to a Canadian Peter Tork. That also is Peter Tork, yes. <laughs> he did play a musician in the Buck Rogers Space Rockers episode. <laughs> oh, that's a knee slapper. <laughs> oh, nothing. I'm just laughing at you, budget John Ritter. You listen to Ari <laughs> Gross. Go. He knows what he's talking about. That's who he looks like. Yeah. 
See, that's a, that's a Chevy. That's an old fashioned Bronco. You that's can hit mu- you can hit multiple hobos with that thing. It won't break. Even Come James on. Coburn right there. And give us your warning, Crazy Ralph. He's following everybody around. That's not how you do it. Just trying to uh, get in the Bruce does it. Try to get in the <laughs> that guy. <laughs> try to get in the Bruce style. I forgot about House 2's Ari Gross. Man, I forgot about that guy. That's a nice <laughs> one right there. Oh, sure you are. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> you are not sorry, sir. And now the other guy can see your ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How you doing? Oh. Kind of a flat ass. You got the dog involved, too, which is kind of fucked up. The dog likes to watch. <laughs> oh my gosh! This is dog he's talking about his other on his leg. Oh, he's got the banquet beer. You're gonna be in for the shits later, dude. <laughs> oh, oh hi, Mark. You're not wrong. Rothschild <laughs> vodka. Again, they gotta work with the dog. <laughs> the dog wants to hug your leg. Look at him. That's funny. <laughs> it talks like you ain't fucking her. <laughs> Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Red Rocket. Uh, only thing worse. Hey, throw that dog out. It's like the fucking yeah. Flintstones. It's like, oh, man, I didn't come yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dog's great. <laughs> the only the worst thing. Oh, sorry. I'll say that guy's looking like, man, I don't know, about five of these scores, you might look all right. <laughs> Bestiality. Joke. How about three cores of three 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 cores of a Mickey's beer? How about that? You know, <laughs> it's a Rothschild. <laughs> She's like, but I want to hump that guy's leg again. That fucking dog knows what's up, man. He knows there's a fucking bookings down there. Bookings down there, dude. <clears throat> you pour some of that beer in the bowl for that dog. Give him some courage. Yeah, you're not wrong about the dog's acting. Goddamn. He's a great dog actor. <laughs> Look at the clothes she's wearing. He ain't getting done with that. <laughs> See, she's gonna give that dog some beer. Uh huh. Give me some beer, bitch. Some natty ice. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I drank some swill back in the day. You know, I didn't know any better. Like, you know, ice house beer. But you know, I oh shit God. Home. That's bad memories, dude. I'm, I'm more, I'm more light, light, ice Ooh. house, bud dry, bud ice. Oh, oh. oh red dog. Red that dog, was, yes. Uh, yeah. Red dog. Steel reserve, yo. Steel reserve. Tall boys, two for three dollars. <clears throat> Are those pool tabs or no? I'm curious now. <laughs> I think they are. Yeah. Movie fucking sucks. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's funny. That's funny to talk about, though. Slow. Damn. Not a goddamn thing happens in this movie. I'm telling you, people. I don't know why it's so beloved. 36 minutes in, and we have one off screen death. What the fuck? This is so exciting. <laughs> I mean, the stories behind this movie are better than the movie. Mm, nice scene, you yeah. <coughs> More than one occasion. That guy looks like Martin Short. Only, like, Martin Short 
playing Jiminy Glick before he got real fat and dumb. She did. She got boogened. That bitch be dead in the basement. He's back there in the room fucking. <laughs> Gonna put on his pants. <laughs> Was she fucking him sideways? Goddamn. She gotta, she gotta mess up with you like that, buddy. You gonna pull a hammy. It's the fuzz. Put on your best flannel. <laughs> what the hell? I would have told her, just wait, honey. I'll be right back. <laughs> My parents have that exact same clock. For training them to play in the road. <laughs> They filmed this in a fucking cracker barrel. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the trailer court, <laughs> Ricky's <laughs> looking for cigarettes. <laughs> Poor That's man. That's bubble Claude shit, Aikens. man. <clears throat> At the trailer park, that'd be a condominium. Mm -hmm. Where's Leahy and Randy? <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> You forgot about how I was in this picture. What the hell? What is he doing? <laughs> hey guys, Nobody told him he was in a movie. He was just right? wandering the set. <laughs> he just shows up everywhere. It don't make any sense. I worked in this mine in 1947. Really? I say seen, something. I seen all, all the boogans. I seen all type of things. <laughs> <laughs> I seen chuds. I seen boogans. Uh, I've seen all gosh. these people rob Burt Reynolds's hat stash. <laughs> I've seen black. I've seen blacks eat with whites at the diner. It was wrong. Wrong, I tell you. <laughs> uh. See, this dog's missing all the sex. That's why he's pissed off. Like, where are they going? You wouldn't get the job done. See, now for like the, I swear, like the next 15 minutes, the dog anchors the movie. <laughs> wow. he's, he's, he's opening doors, he's checking for things. He's getting shoes, he's doing bunny hops on beds and shit. <laughs> this dog really is stack. like the best oh, actor rules. in the movie. <laughs> Putting holes in condoms. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, that's how boogans are born right there. So, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How cowlings. Which sounds like a really racist statement. Hey, that's how boogans are born, man, you know? <laughs> Where does one purchase fine headgear like this? I've never seen a store that sells these things. I mean, he stole that from Richard Petty. <laughs> or, um... <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get the actor's name from from Six Pack, the one that wanted to bang Andy Diane Rogers? Lane. No, yeah, the the rival, the rival to to, to Brewster Baker. Uh, I forget the guy's Terry name. Reed? Now. No, was it Terry Kaiser in that movie? I think it was. Oh shit! I have to look that one up because I haven't watched Six Pack in a while. But um, that's a film I enjoy still. 
Those scrappy kids just stealing car parts. Kenny Rogers just... I used to hate him. But then one time, my shitty town fair got Kenny Rogers to come play. And when I got <laughs> home from work, I could hear it from the fairgrounds. He was singing the, the Big Lebowski song. And I loved it. <laughs> I tell you, nice made you my ate. day. You ate his chicken. I've never ate Kenny Rogers roasters. <laughs> used to hate him, but then I ate his chicken. <laughs> now he's a god among men. <laughs> <laughs> that, that I heard on the screen. Actually, I just uh, thought it was really good. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I have a Kenny Rogers story. About 15 years ago, I was working at a truck stop, and this tour bus stopped in, and I was uh, the all first this, shift cook. All this tracks, cook. by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear the Kenny Rogers story. Oh, I, I cooked for him and his old, uh, his old crew. Oh, he they just came, stopped and hung yeah, out? Yeah, we, we uh, I was working at a Flying J truck stop right off the interstate. Work uh, third shift, you know, 10 o'clock at night to like 4 o'clock in the morning. They stopped in about 1 o'clock in the, in the a.m. Uh, I even remember what I made for him. I made a omelet and hash browns. And we, he, gave, he gave out 8 by 10s for everybody. That's awesome. Yeah, and I never really was, really was a fan of his before then, but, you know, it was just like, eh, all right, my book. He's a fan of all the Canadian breakfast meats. He's a good dude. <laughs> <laughs> he likes the Canadian ham. That they call bacon? Bacon, bacon, bacon. If that dog dies, he started shit with them boogans, and that, that was uh, that was the problem right there. See, this is what I'm saying, man. Look at all <laughs> these awesome cowboy hats. I don't know where to purchase one of these things. Canada. Canada has a lock on those? Mm-hmm. Just ask moods. Well, homeboy, there's really working the buttons on that jacket. I said I had that coat once when I was fucking seven years old. I think yeah. <laughs> you put the baggies on your feet and everything, Ma. Good job. <laughs> it's from the Marty. Wow, McFly so he's collection. going home now without getting laid. <laughs> what the hell? He's trying to fuck yeah. her sideways anyway, so I wasn't gonna work out for him either way. Is that the dad from the right. Wonder Years? Oh, put a ring on that finger, man. She knows how to rack. Yeah, but can she break, though? I don't know. We'll see. That is I some watery-looking fucking beer. Man! It's Moosehead. See, I don't know. Like, It's all backstory now, but... Didn't that get accomplished with the newspaper clippings earlier? <laughs> that ain't Molson. That's Labatt Blue, yo. Hey, Labatt is <laughs> good. That's good shit, man. That's Wasteland beer. Oh, Wasteland. I miss Wasteland. Oh, man. I got some shit to tell you later. It's going to break your heart. Uh, it's probably never happening again. I'm sure. I know Ken and Pam are hurting right now just like everybody else yep me and my wife met there pennsylvania somebody called tim gross he's busting chuds pennsylvania represent you know (laughs) i keep trying to talk him into making pittsburgh chud buster but Man, which chuds do you go for? You go full chud, or you go Gary Graham chud? Oh, he gets full on chuds, dude. Okay, with the mechanex and everything. I, I've got I've got pictures of Pittsburgh chuds in my phone. That he's every time he takes down a chud, he sends me a picture. That fucking dog made a fucking mess, you asshole! Look at him. The bogan did that though. That guy looks like he's wearing the intercontinental belt on his head. Man. <laughs> it's Owen Hart. Rest in peace. Yeah. R.I.P. Nugget. 
Enough Look, it's is enough. That dog's going to burst out somewhere just in time for Bookings to get this guy. So that's where the Brady Bunch dog went. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, they stole the Brady Bunch <laughs> Boogans dog. are Cousin Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what pinball machine is that? The Gambler? I think it is the Gambler. It's Kenny Rogers. Oh, I'd kill for the one, just one of those Ham's beer lamps. It'd be amazing. I've got a PBR one like that. <laughs> uh, don't hang it because I'm not a fucking hipster. <laughs> well, yeah. You can do it because you just love fucking PBR, man. I don't drink PBR. That shit's gross. <coughs> Only when it's really, really cold. I say, I'll have one of those. And that's all. I never understood like the, the hipster love of PBR. It's it's fucking it's, rancid. It's like when you go to Suzanne's house, she's got cores or PBR and the good shit on the top shelf. So <laughs> I'm a Miller dude. I like Miller. I'm a high life. And then yep. every once in a while at Wasteland it's Labatt's or Yingling. Miller gives me a headache. <clears throat> It's me the shit, but that's what Wasteland Buffet's for when you wake up. <laughs> oh, the gonna... Wasteland Breakfast Buffet. Mm-hmm. That guy's going to bed alone. He ain't going to jerk off or nothing. That's fucking sad. You know? Yeah, I've got the same fucking haircut. God damn it, Bill Pullman. What are you doing here? Trying to hit on some chick? F- fucking fourth grade comb over? Yes. <laughs> I know what he's doing. He's hitting on Deborah Winger. Not as cute, <laughs> Phoebe Cates. Wow. <laughs> Not fucking 81 Phoebe Cates, okay? Yeah, that's prime. Prime time, Phoebe that's, Cates. That's prime Cates right there. Topless Cates. He's more like... Uh... Robert Hedges, not Robert Hedges, the guy from the airplane, Robert Hayes. Robert Hayes. <laughs> that's yeah. what he reminds me of. Schlitz! That's a, that's a wasteland beer sometimes. Ooh. So that mean the, uh, the Can Crusher Lady is somewhere around the corner? Oh, R.I.P. Can Crusher Lady or Dude? I don't know. There's, there's, a, there's a contingent of people that say that might be a dude. They think that's a guy. Every once in a real while, I'm, not, I'm sorry. I, was, I don't know if I even want to find out. <laughs> Every once in okay. a real while, some of lay a grill on me. You know, the fucking, uh, with the cork top on it. <laughs> I was like, okay, Germany. This beer is too cold. You don't make a beer hard to get into. <laughs> You gotta turn like a hinge on that motherfucker to get the top off. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? (laughs) (coughs) It's like the aluminum cans. I can never drink those because I can't open them. It's too slippery. (laughs) Uh huh. Yeah, they give her a ride back, all right. Oh, my ding dong! Hi-oh! God, this movie why, screams why for George Kennedy. Why would you stay? Why would you stay? This guy's alone, you know? Penis unused. He's mm-hmm. killed by a booger now. It's fucking makes you sad a little bit, you know? Guess she wasn't horny. <laughs> Not the bed broke. Oh, the bed broke. Yeah, it wasn't even from the love makings. That didn't happen. The Boogans ate the bed. The Boogans ate the bed. <laughs> <laughs> the Boogans the Boogans caused his sexless addiction his, uh, pr- uh prediction. Yeah. Predicament. Well, like over halfway through this movie, we have not seen Boogans <laughs> one yet. Not one motherfucking <laughs> nope. Boogans. Not a tentacle. Not a slime trail. Not, you got a skull. That was it. A human skull. This movie's all about Boogans expectations and yeah. It just doesn't think... deliver. That's why I don't like this movie. <laughs> this might be a, a recommendation for is it really that bad? Holy shit. <laughs> this is fucking bad. <laughs> you know, it's, it's big on atmosphere. I'll give it that. But, you know, 
Yeah, I like all these characters. The dog rules. It's just that's all yeah. you got, man. I mean, as a filmmaker myself, I like the way it's shot. You know, I mean, it's shot real well. Yeah. It's not, you know, out of it focus. Doesn't look and like it's shit. Great or camera cheap work or anything. Yeah, I mean, it looks legit. It looks Hollywood, you know. But damn. It's... Whoops! Oh, pratfall. Dick Van Dyke show. He fell on some slime or dog blood. Oh, double Dick Van Dyke. There's a tentacle, and it took us forty three minutes to get there. <laughs> I didn't know we were watching Octopus. Octopus, Octoman, uh, Tentacles. Admiral Akbar underneath that thing. It's a trap. It's a trap. Ew. Meteor shit. Exactly. (laughs) The old lady from Serial Mom. You've got some duty on your shoe. (laughs) Why would you stay and investigate? You are that white, aren't you? Yeah. I would just tip the fuck out the door. So you, des- you deserve that shit. Oh, he just <laughs> got flare chopped. <laughs> oh, <good laughs> you fucking deserve to die. Oh. <laughs> you had a good 40 seconds to bounce, motherfucker. <laughs> he deserved everything point. he got, stupid ass. R.I.P. Ari Gross. He's still not as dumb as the guy at the end of the rap stuff uh, from Creep Show 2, but, you know, he's pretty stupid. <laughs> yep, so he had to die with a dry dick, man. You know, he deserved it. I mean, uh, standing at the edge of the lake saying, I beat you, well, uh, <laughs> it's just the dumbest thing he could ever done. He already had the world's most powerful car battery in the world. He could have gotten that car and bounced, you know. Because that radio played all night long. Bring that dog back. I'm bored. (laughs) He did. Yeah, that dog's dead. It did not commit suicide. It's not Gordon. No. Well, if the dog is the best actor, you'd be the smartest dog, smartest actor in the world, too, because he might just fucking left and said, hey, I gotta go. Nobody can get fucked in this movie. <laughs> yeah, this movie is all about cop block. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't snowing, dude. <laughs> Kiss me, Rick Moranis. Kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's, he's, he's actually he's that tall. He's too tall. Oh, she looks like Rick Moranis. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes all sense in the world now. (laughs) It's shove off, eh? Tad Doug Broker Vagina. (laughs) Him explaining how much of a cheap shit he is in Ghostbusters is one of my favorite things in the world. Are we going to have tentacle porn? I hope so. Boogan's just the sick of his finger up his ass. Here. It turns into your doji all of a sudden. Ooh, Legend of the Overfiend. Oh, we got Boogan. Oh, there's a titty. <laughs> well, it's a nipple. We've seen she's her gonna, ass and her titty. <laughs> she's still got a little boy's body, so. This movie just went up one star for me. <laughs> no, that gives it one star so far. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all, y'all shouldn't have sex. Yeah, that's bad news for the Boogans. <laughs> he had the crazy Ralph shows back up. Hey, remember me? I was in this movie. See, he's playing with the nipples there. He's 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 yeah. Uh, he's Jared like Slover. And she just came. And the dog lives. <laughs> we all See, thought the dog was dead. This whole movie should be called the cock blockers, man. This is not the boogans. This is the cock blockins. Why did she flip the table over though? <laughs> She thought it was, was so funny that dog just caused her non-sex. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all didn't have sex. She just fell asleep naked from laughing so hard. <laughs> She's like, this oh, movie needs a luchador. 
It's like, just let her rest. She's tired from laughing so hard. It's like, sorry, I just got back from the game bag at that bar. You wouldn't believe how big their dicks were. <laughs> <laughs> they showed me the cue, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, they just left her there with, with two horny-ass old men. You know, anything can happen. Like, well, she wants to take and gamble. Let's play some eight ball so we get two balls in your early parts. Balls. I love the random chair just hanging on the wall. Nothing's happening. There's a good half an hour of this movie left to least, guys. I know. We're going to see a boogie at some point in time. The last two seconds of the movie. <laughs> hey, boogie. Man, this movie is boring. No <laughs> shit happening at all. There ain't no Transformers 4. Where's them GoBots? <laughs> <laughs> Put the, make the boogans vo- vo- the one boogan voiced by Paul Lind be spectacular. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't remind me of stuff I'd rather be watching. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, who's the other guy that matched here? Was it Charles Nelson Riley? Yeah, Charles you know. Nelson Riley. Yeah. <laughs> I watch him on um, Amazon Prime or once in a while. I want a good laugh. Just watch the match game for no reason. It's a great show. You get Richard Dawson on there a bunch. Oh yeah. Richard Dawson, Betty White, Brett Summers. Oh yeah. They were staples. Dick Smothers, which is the greatest name I think anybody ever has. <laughs> the greatest name that uh, was not a porno name? Yeah. Well, uh, nobody's getting their dick smothered in this movie. The dog's preventing that. I agree. <laughs> yeah. They are very religious vandals, after all. That bottom button of that jacket's putting in some overtime today, baby. Some high-strength shit. Where's Rousedower in this fucking movie, man? <laughs> see, the only has a death curse is written right across it, see? Shitty Fred Gwynn knows what's up. Yeah, we ain't seen John. We ain't seen, uh... <laughs> what do we call him? <laughs> James Robards in about a good 20 minutes. You know? Yeah. He's going to be the one boogin. Former hobo worker for the city. Becomes a boogin overnight. It didn't fall. My souffle. What she did, make some meatloaf. I like that unicorn apron she has. <laughs> I bet it's like a rainbow bright <laughs> thing. That ass, though. Well, that shit's wore out now, but those old men at the bar. <laughs> I don't want to see it now. They ruined that thing, probably. She is wearing a sweater that would guarantee she never gets laid. It doesn't fit her because she got nothing going on up there. All that, that, that cast iron flatware, man, you know. Just all the girls in this cast are like the people who didn't get didn't get picked to be on eight is enough. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm sorry, man. I'm not laughing into the microphone, but that's that's you're not wrong about that. Oh, hey, hey, hey. hey. Crazy you. Ralph returns. He's, he's back. Just causing shenanigans. <laughs> Hold that poop in. <laughs> Why they got him walking like Tim Conway on the Carol Burnett show? What the fuck? Because he's going to shit his pants if he moves any faster. Hey, look, Bob <laughs> Explosives. Dino Mike. Good thing he's got his Crown Royal bag with him. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mr. Drummond has really let himself go. Yeah. He's going to blow up this trailer because he really wants to get this mine out of business. Don't worry, I'm sure in the exposition part of the movie we'll find out why. Oh, I don't think so. It's all exposition. <laughs> Nothing fucking happens, for fuck's sake. This, this is that guy who used to work at the Silver Shamrock factory. Oh, oh we, yeah. don't have, we don't have the robotic Dick Warlock to kill him. It makes me sad. And we don't even have any Atkins stash. Be Arthur! Oh, now she turned into the older girl <laughs> girls when she put them glasses on. Still Getty. Estelle Getty, <coughs> Judge Judy. <coughs> Estelle here is way too excited to be in this movie. Oh, a lot of teeth going on there. <laughs> yeah, show us some teeth. Come on, girl. Yeah. They should have a hardcore match up there. Man. <laughs> David Arquette and DDP be all good. See DDP. Oh, <laughs> the the old man was in Creep Show, in the Father's Day segment. Oh, another oh, movie I'm not a big fan of. What? Yeah, I'm not. I, I think Creep Show is better. Don't get me on the say Friday part night. Three, man. Oh no, God, haunted hot dogs. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Sucks. Don't get me on the uh, Fright Night versus Fright Night 2 debate. <laughs> I, I'm with you there. I think Fright Night 2 is better. It's probably mm. sacrilege, but... My man. <clears throat> it's it's, it's, it's like, definitely for... more more action to it. I'll say that. I think it, this, is my, this is my argument. I think it's better when Charlie doesn't know vampires exist, but Peter Vincent does. And mm. they flip it. Yeah, you know, works I, better. I like it. I don't think. Oh, I, I like them both. They're great. Both are yeah. fucking excellent. But goddamn, part two is some '80s shit going on in there, like <laughs> nobody's business. I just watched John, part two last week. John Grease and Brian Thompson in that movie. Yeah, and this dude was in the first uh, Star Wars Star Trek show too, The Cage. Be one of the doctors. It's been in a lot of shit. What's that dog been in? Her ass. Man. <laughs> the garbage. <laughs> the, the basement. Come on, go make doggy. Go duty. <laughs> go wee wee. It's time to go potty, dog. Oh, I shouldn't say that word. My dog will freak out. <laughs> Kamala for the win. Yeah. It's funny. The IMDb says he died in 80, 1986, but his last credit was 1987. Well, probably, <laughs> probably filmed, filmed in 86, released in 87, probably. Yeah. I know, I know, but that shit's funny. <laughs> she just found the old man's uh, station wagon. Probably. Dun dun dun! It's a truck in a garage. My God, what a mystery! Where's Dick Warlock at? He needs to come out now. Here we go. Walking exposition. Those purple pants, though, man. Fuck. They left that motherfucker down there. It was a boogin'. Griswold. Look. He left his car behind too. Probably. Mr. Grizzle. It breaks my heart that Chevy Chase is a giant asshole in real life because I love that man. Well, there's always that one guy, right? Yeah. This movie gets a 5.6 on IMDb. 
Wow, that's way too fucking high. <laughs> the first the first rating says surprising, decent atmosphere, characters, and story. <laughs> All true, but still, nothing happens in this fucking movie. <laughs> to be fair, Kyle, they knew Chevy was an asshole in the 70s. So I'm just throwing it out there. Oh, I know. <laughs> wow, this is actually a 10 out of 10 rating on here. <laughs> a fun romp with an 80s classic horror. Wow. This movie just yells overrated to me. You see, dude, Black Christmas is better than this movie. That's one thing, you know? It's a, it's a, they got that going for it. Black Christmas is pretty cool. I don't like it. Me and Duty aren't that big of fans. Uh, I find it boring as fuck. <laughs> Those phone calls just crack me the fuck up, though. <laughs> that is good, but... <laughs> They're so, like, disgusting, even for, like, 1970-whatever. <laughs> I, I, I prefer the skin cookie slapsticky ass shit from the second... The, the, Don't the let first Tim Gross movie. hear you say that. Well... I love that movie also. <laughs> I love it so much, but... Yeah, especially the uh, cameo by Chris Pontius. We just learned in the mine action. He left somebody down there. Turned into a boogin. Now the chud, a boogin. God, chuds are so much cooler than boogins. You got all these tools on your belt like you're going to do something, but you, you've had one scene in a fucking mine. I need a West Side Story situation where the bo- it's the boogins versus the chuds. They're just and they, and they, they sing, fighting? And they, they sing a dance fight, yes. See, we're writing better movies than the Buggins people. Yeah. It's called Chuggins. <laughs> Chuggins. Chuggin 2. Electric, electric Chuggaloo? I don't know. We don't have to... Yeah, Electric Chuggaloo. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's like, I'm going to put this sign here. Nobody better fucking stop me. Truck! Yeah, this... <laughs> This movie so needs George Kennedy and it so needs uh, Chuck. Uh, fuck. Chuck Connors. Chuck Connors, yeah. Like, I mean, I'm that guy's sure. got a jawline, but he ain't got a Chuck Connors jawline. You guys may mention Chuck Connors so many times on your show, Kyle. How do you forget his name? That makes me sad. I didn't need Chuck I was Connors. trying to think, of, I was trying to say Chuck Norris, but I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> Chuck Connors. Chuck Connors. Chuck Connors, what, he couldn't be in this. He'd figure everything out, kill the Chuds, and it'd be two minutes long. Plus, he's, he's a Chud magnet. We'd be, we'd be seeing at least five boogans by now, but we got 25 minutes left, and we haven't seen one boogan. <laughs> Chuck Connors was great in Summer Camp Nightmare. That movie's awesome. I love it. So underseen and underrated. Oh, it's great. That one needs a, DV, a Blu-ray yeah. release. I don't know. I don't think you'll ever. Well, that's got music. What do they do? Fear in that? They cover that fear beef bologna song. <laughs> yeah, beef bologna. Yeah, this movie also needs fucking leaving for fuck's sakes, man. As like a drunk in the bar and starts a fight or something. Does it leaving play the boogin? I don't know. Maybe, not. maybe. I hope. Maybe it does. Yeah. With the streets of fire, put with the streets of fire uh, axe. There's fucking a lot of beer in this movie. He he might be there. He need that hammer. Oh, I was happy today when I was watching King Solomon's Mines that a sledgehammer fight broke out on top of a moving train. Made me Man. think of the fire. <clears throat> See, this dog's a shit starter. Why is this thing stuck at that house? I think it could just get in that house for some reason. Come on, pan down, motherfucker. Black shampoo. I had that kid when I was a kid. Give us something to look at. Look at my butt. I'm a dog. See, that dog can smell the menstruation. That's like like the bears. You know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> can smell the menstruation. And boogans, too. See, this dog is just starting shit. Yeah, I see a claws. See, that's cool, but it's just like he stuck some green beans through that grape and wiggled them around, man. Now I want some green beans with some bacon. 
Maybe some Canadian bacon. Like bionic sounds. Cut That's off the water. Dirty, a dirty shower head. Fuck yeah. Again. This dog is the catalyst. Just starting shit with the boogans. Yeah, don't get no soap in your ears, baby. That's bad news if you get don't earaches. chicks usually take their makeup off before they get in the shower? Or... Put the fucking lotion in the basket. Oh, oh Bob. Oh, finally did it. <laughs> Bob, Bob, precious. I got your fucking dog, mister. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm going to break its neck. She broke that dog's leg, though. Makes me sad. <laughs> Somebody knocks on the door. She a great big fat girl. <laughs> precious uh, size fourteen. See, precious didn't do anything. He just uh, hung out with a weirdo. Give it a kiss. Mm-hmm. Okay, I get kisses from Darla all the time, but I don't wear a skin suit or anything. Oh, oh, oh that's she's trash, going down. <laughs> you done fucked up. Will we see a boogin? We'll even see it. I say no. Can we see some decent girl boob right here? I hope so. Flip over. Come on, honey. That's fucking ketchup. <clears throat> yeah, come on, you're better than that. What's you're lucky you? that's a boogin and not a humanoid from the deep because you would have done been raped like five times, lady. Don't go back there, idiot. You heard a growl now. Bust to the wall like the Kool-Aid man. Or like Leatherface a la TCM2. <laughs> that thing's got retired strength. That would push her right there, okay? Dumbass. <laughs> what, 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 no! You got a whole wall of ca- cast iron pants. <laughs> you throw the fucking wall run equivalent at it. And they always pull on the door. Why they always pull? Like, turn the fucking doorknob. Like a normal the, human yeah. being. Look at the size of those skillets. Hit that motherfucker in the face. Do boogans have faces? I hope so. I don't know. I don't know if we'll ever find out. That's true. Dude, you don't wait. Shit. She's not bleeding anymore, though. It's like, oh, maybe he ran away. Just got scraped up a little bit. <laughs> it's Belial. <sighs> See, this is a claymation creature. It was yeah. just a torso. I laugh my ass. Anything off right now. would be better than like no, like nothing. That is some ketchupy looking blood for sure. He's got dark overlord claws. <laughs> That's all I see is Howard the Duck now. <clears throat> How'd that kill her though? Scrape to the face and a scrape to the chest. She died of pure fright from Boogan. <laughs> she got the she got the long claw. Uh, I'm so glad you picked this movie, Gary. You know we're talking about a lot though, so there's that. You know there's not a lot of dead air. <laughs> so I think mission accomplished with, on the boogans. You know. See, we're we're, we're complaining about it without saying not saying 25 times in the movie. Man, this movie fucking sucks. You know. <laughs> See, Willis, this is what you're not inviting on the show, man. It's just. Uh <laughs> oh. Them are fighting words. Man, do it, Willis. I'm watching AEW. Fuck this shit. I watch Transformers 5 with them. You know, the one where fucking Optimus Prime is in the round table for no reason. Anthony Hopkins just fucking chewing scenery. I knew Optimus Prime once. He was a knight of the round table. Oh, he got all gooed up. Holy shit, that's a friend of mine. <laughs> he looks like, um, oh, <coughs> that, that, that part in Popcorn where he's kissing him with the rubber face. and <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You know. nope. <laughs> John Ballard, I love that actor. Take it from us too soon. Fucking AIDS. No, he does talk. (laughs) 
I've been the harbinger through this whole film. Are you stupid or something, son? Fucking Gandalf just showed up. <laughs> There'd be a Balrog in these caves. Run, you fools! <laughs> Keeper of the flame. Flame of Hoonan. <laughs> I watched all three of those extended cuts last weekend in one day. That was good shit. I was just like not having anything. I was pissed at the world. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fucking going to goddamn Middle Earth and everybody can fuck right off. You pick your dead friend out of the fucking drink, asshole. You're in proper burial. They're all going to get buried. That dude's going to blow them the fuck up. No, no, it's not there no more. You got pulled down by the boogin. How oh, yeah, all these tunnels? That's how Jason Voorhees gets around so well. This guy's totally going to turn into Dennis Hopper in Chainsaw 2. He's going to blow this mine up. I'm going to bring it all down. Bring it all down. To hell. <laughs> I, I am the keeper of the harvest. Tell this motherfucker it's that non land. <laughs> Napalm! <laughs> What's that speech he gives? Y'all got no business without me. No head wound, no disability, no disability, no money. So, are you telling me that the Sawyer's barbecue business is funded on chopped off disability? Yeah, it's a speech. If you listen when, uh, they're peeling LG's face off. He's all screaming about how the, that's how they get their money to run the fucking business is from his head wound and his disability checks. Yeah, because of that, he had to fucking battle all the metal plates. You know? Yep. If this thing gets uh, dented, my hair is just not going to look right. <laughs> Ruined some Sonny Bono wigs down here. Again, right, uh, a movie I'd rather be watching. It's surprised I get a bigger laugh on duty on that one, yeah. I'm watching the guy hold the the dynamite really close to the fire. It's, it's very like, intense. It's kind of like that scene in T2 with Joe Morton just breathing heavy. <laughs> oh, look out. Jaws is coming. Aqua Chuds. Yes. Tentacle porn. Dude, that, that thing didn't look imposing at all. You get the fuck away from that thing. That thing was flaccid as shit. Yep. He's got taken by the mind. He said it. He said it, Boogan. Again, you should not be still standing there. He's coming back. What are you doing? Go fishing, asshole? That's a pretty weak ass dynamite. Yeah, no kidding. <clears throat> what are you doing, dummy? I guess that's why he died. Now they're going to get caved in. They're going to have to eat each other, and the cycle of the boogans begins again. See, this is a, this is the prequel too. My yeah, see, Valentine. like this is a great setup for like what could have been an awesome fucking sequel that they never made. See, if my bloody Valentine had actual boogans in it, nudie, I'd, I'd enjoy it a lot more. Yeah, you know, if it was a boogo a boogans Harry Warden combination, spectacular. I don't know how you don't enjoy it as it is. It's a fantastic film. I, I didn't watch. I didn't watch it. You, you put it up doing everything. The, the new, the new cut of the movie. But all I remember watching is like the old cut of the movie where they added the the, the unfinished gore effects in, and I liked the theatrical one much better. So I'm curious now when they cleaned it up what it looks like now. So I'll watch it and I'll tell you what I think. It looks fantastic. Pretty much, man. Yep. You were making love while a young boy drowned. Yeah. You got James Robard's autobiography. 
If Jason was a chud. Chuds and Voorhees. <laughs> if I were a chud and you were a boogan, I'd marry you anyway. My goddamn cannon supplies. What am I going to pickle now? You gotta go save the girl with no breasts. Goddamn Sam Squanch. Good thing he's driving a Chevy. I think he'll drive through anything. Oh man, I miss Chevy Broncos. They're kind of cool. Then they made that shitty Bronco 2 that sucked. Who needs a late 11? Big goddamn people. I think they're coming back. I think they're making a new Chevy Blazer or <laughs> Bronco. Unless they want a giant ladle coming back. It's the OJ model. Yeah. It comes with a dead body and some gloves. <laughs> allegedly. Allegedly. Come on. You got 12 more minutes, Boogans, to come pop out and show us. It doesn't fit. You must stick shift. This whole movie is the equivalent of that meme of the guy just poking the thing on the sidewalk saying, do something. It looks, right. it looks like ketchup on the ground, man. Do something, movie. I mean, I don't mention the film earlier. You were talking about Cameron because a friend of yours made and everything, but this probably, the blood looks probably worse than anybody does in that movie. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, your blood in that movie? It's a, it's a little little bit. Most of it's CGI. CGI blood. So you know you know this scene's better played out in. Um, what was it? Um, Deadly Eyes with the 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 baby being dragged across the floor and the blood. Oh out. my god! That movie is five star greatness. Mwah. Love Deadly Eyes. They fucked that toddler up in that movie. <laughs> Are you going to start a convoy now? Come on, man. You get to the flight just the girl. Don't chase me, bro. I miss boxy cars. I'm a big fan of boxy cars. It's just the Prowler. Man. <laughs> also, another movie that is boring as shit, and everybody it, loves it, and I it, just don't it, get it. It does have some of Yes, and probably cleanest special effects of any of the Yeah, oh yeah. When you got the burning like two years later, I I, I think it's a, I think it's trash for the for the effects. Yeah, but it's the burning. It's great. You know what happens in the burning? Stuff. You know what doesn't happen in this movie? <laughs> Stuff. Stuff. Glazer. You got a young Jason Alexander selling. Con- not as good as the condom salem and blood rage you know that guy's uh that's ted ramey right there <laughs> just blood sell rage. the condoms in the bathroom <laughs> now that's a movie blood rage it's not cranberry sauce <laughs> he's got he's got a pack of those lou dobbins good time wiener pouch Let's see, less than 10 minutes Scooby left. Do. Still no boogans. This ain't Scooby Doo, bitch. Walk faster. <clears throat> this is the Look, third well, time she's found blood on the floor. Like, you know what, like, what the fuck is up, lady? You should bounce, really. Like, Look, more blood. I think I'll just keep on investigating. Like, face it, your friends are dead. Get the fuck out. There's your dead friend right there. Mm-hmm. That's you some see, good blood. Effects. That blood looks different than the blood she was shedding before. I guess it coagulated now, though. Come on, girl. Your lack of tits and that Mary Hartman haircut is not going to get you too far in this world. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. (laughs) 
She fell funny. Oh, I saw a boogie's <laughs> face. Wow. A split second, we got a boogie. It looked like a sock puppet with some teeth, though. I mean. Come on, man. Is that man. all it took? <laughs> Just like that, the movie's over. Bookins go down like a bunch of bitches, man. It's a fucking turtle or something. Is that oh. all there is? God, that looks so bad. <laughs> is that all there is? Did that ever save me a torch song? Thank you, Simpsons. Dude, he fucking killed the fucking turtle tentacle monster. Why are you playing with this for? I hope you fucking die. Looks like a, it yeah, looks there you so, go. It's cute. There oh, you it's go. Like a oh. turtle. It's you, need, you need a payoff shot, shot, and that was it right there. Yeah, that's good, man. It's like a snapping turtle or something. Oh, shit, gas leak. Oh, Kyle, are you happy you got to see what it looked like now? Yeah. <clears throat> cute looking. It's like engulfing his entire face. You got the gas leak. Now get the fuck out of there. What are you going to do with that thing? It's like an angry camera. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. The camera is fun for friend of the children, though, but not this guy so much. No, this guy says, fuck those kids. We're going to eat them. Now, why are you still standing there? Get a gas leak now. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. I don't think gas is liquid. How did that? I don't understand what just happened. Dude. See, the denim would have helped. I think that yeah. Jack is probably more flammable than anything else right there. What are you afraid the boogin is going to get you? It's so cute. It's like a little turtle monster. Oh, yeah. He's adorable. Let's go through the mine. The only way out is in. Don't drop nothing down a hole. The goblins are coming. <clears throat> Come on, boy, and get them. That shit went up like fucking kindling. That's quality house right there. Boom. Oh, sh- oh, sure. Well, I guess it did. It was attached to the gas line. Oh, shit. A cave in. They say two people died in the Bugginsy mine. On a warm, cold Valentine's Day. There you go. Walk over, bitch. Oh, it's only one. <laughs> now it's graveyard shift. They're going to find a big winged bat rat monster down here. It's going to oh, be yeah. awesome. Stephen Machette's going to start fucking people up. Hey, there's another boogin. That is cool looking. That's a recycled boogin. Well, it is named Boogins. So there had to be more than oh, one. Oh, she hacks all Jim Duggan them. Oh, <laughs> tough guy. Yeah, look back. That's a good idea. Hey, I'm still alive. Harry Warden. I don't know what that tentacle was, but it looked George epic to me. Bard, what are you doing down here? <laughs> I love it when the boogin show up the last five minutes of this movie. Dude, that's a big bake right there, man. Yeah. That's a, what do you call those? Uh, I forget the name of the other. Because of that, it's lighter. Scripto lighter. Yeah, hey, it's all the dynamite. Yes! Yeah. Get him, boogin. Get him. Oh, he hugged himself. Death by Boogan. So is that like, are there supposed to be 
one boogan that they can't kill or a bunch of boogans? No, I think there's, like there's multiple boogans. You just happen to see the one that they created for this film every okay. time. Because that one boogan got burned up in the fire and, you know, fucking pitchforked and shot at. And... I don't imagine that boogan's dead. No, Indy, left tunnel! Left tunnel! <laughs> I set up all the charges. Ooh, the tall man's gonna come out of the thing too. Why is that? Goddamn crack lighter. Hurry. Who does that? He didn't say, yeah, well, fuck you, too. That's what you're supposed to say when you throw dynamite at things, right? Oh, or, uh, right. Get, Call get, that to get, McCready. Get an oxygen tank and say, smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. See, the Boogans has a big smile, so that'd be work really good there. One is going to crawl out at the end of this movie, I can almost guarantee it. One Boogan survived. Oh, sad music. Sad Hulk music, perhaps? Play <laughs> that sad walking away music from The Incredible Hulk. Starring Bill Bixby as the Boogan. <laughs> Who's got the marshmallows? Oh, here comes the book ahead. Ah! Here's that moon, the budget was spent. Is yeah. that moon is that moon river playing right now? My Huckleberry friend. Hmm. Oh man, so that was the boogans, man. A lot to talk about, but so there's big on atmosphere, but not much on creatures. Um I'll kick it to one of our guests first, Kyle, asked, what do you give the, what do you, you think of the bookends? What do you give one to 10? Um, you know, I'm going to give it a four. I know this is highly regarded in the, people, <laughs> the horror community. I just never got it because nothing happens. And, and this, it checks a lot of my boxes, man. It's got monsters. It's got shit that goes on underground. That's a weird thing that I like, but just nothing there's nothing here, uh, and that's that's sad because like this could have been really, really cool. But yeah, I think there's your budget right there. They blew that house up and didn't use it on the boogans, and it just screams, man. I wish there was a boogans too. That was ten times awesomer. With but it just never happened. So yeah, man, I've never really liked this movie. And four out of ten. Oh, big props to Martha Dew, who was the animal trainer. So the dog was the star of the movie. Yeah, so, the dog rules. So Martha Dew, you deserve a, a credit and some love from us. And uh, I'll kick it to, to Cameron next and ask him what he thought about it. Why does he give one to ten? Oh, yeah, it's bad. It's real bad. <laughs> it's like, you know, it's got tons of atmosphere. The acting is not bad. The cinematography is good. But, man, it's just nothing but an hour and 40 minutes of exposition when really, you know, with the, the last 10 minutes is where it's at that, you know, the boogans actually are not a really great payoff at the end. They're, they look like a pissed off, you know, turtle face fucked a camera. It's just, you know, promises a lot, but doesn't deliver. I mean, the, the star of the movie <laughs> is uh, obviously the dog. When the dog is the best actor in the movie, movie, you uh, got problems. I, I'm coming in slightly lower than Kyle. I'd probably have to give it a three. Cool. Uh, Nudie. Uh, <laughs> I I mean, if the whole movie was like the last 10 minutes, this movie would have been a 10 out of 10. But uh, yeah, it, pretty fucking boring for an hour and 20 minutes, and then it finally decides to do something. Uh, I'm just going to give it a five. It's a middle of the road. I'll probably never watch it again. If I can get it like cheap on Blu-ray, I'll add it to my collection, but it's not something that I'll go crazy looking to buy. Yeah, um, I'm with Nudie. It's middle of the road. 
It's a five. Uh, the creature's fun looking. I mean, you got some some gore at the end there, and besides that, you know, there's, there's the tale of this dog who was just preventing sex and bringing boogans into life, and you know. <laughs> so if anything, the dog's the hero of the film. Was even stuff happen? So go, uh, go dog. You know, you're you're amazing. But um, this is the point of the show where I tell these gentlemen to pimp their shit. I'll kick it to Cameron first. Uh, tell us what you got coming up, sir. Well, uh, this past year, 2020, I started doing my own podcast instead of just uh, guest hosting with folks like y'all. I do uh, Cinema Degeneration, which you can find us on uh, Podbean, Spotify, Stitcher, Pandora, Apple, Google, you name it. Wherever fine podcasts are sold, you can find Cinema Degeneration. We just finished uh, 